Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. We will go ahead and get started with our information session about the FACE Photo Voice Project. My name is Anna Kerr, and I am one of the board members of the FACE Syndrome community, and I'm also a researcher at Ohio University. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the chat as we are talking. We are also recording the session, so it will be available to you later. So what is Photo Voice and why are we doing this? So Photo Voice is a collective storytelling process in which people use photographs to describe their environment and experiences and to express their thoughts about those. So the goal of this project is to really use photos to learn more about the experiences of individuals affected by face syndrome, which includes patients and their family members, parents, siblings, anyone who might be affected. And with your permission, we'll share these photos with other families and members of the face syndrome community. We plan to display them at our family conference if and when we can meet in person again. And we also hope that we can share them with the doctors and nurses who are helping take care of you or your child so that we start to gain a better understanding of life as somebody with face syndrome. Um, and so today I'll share some of the photos that we have collected over the last year of doing this project. And then I will share with you some ways that you can start taking photos and add your voice to our collection. Here's a photo that we've received. Each photo that is submitted, we ask that you write a journal entry that tells us what's important about this photo or what might be, be happening beyond the borders of the photo that we can't capture. So here you can see the caption is, she's at another MRI, MRA appointment. Her hemangioma keeps growing and she's four, so they keep monitoring it. She is still a happy girl here despite being in the hospital. Water and swimming has always been a place of joy and peace for her. I noticed when she was young that she had this freedom in the water. Her balance and low muscle tone didn't hinder her there and she has always found the water to be peaceful and freeing. We can all agree pizza is amazing, right? Pizza is for celebrating accomplishments, sleepovers, movies, and just lazy days. Pizza signals good memories. I love pizza too, but it doesn't always signify good memories for me. Pizza sauce is the number one people think I'm eating when they see my hemangiomas, and some certainly take care to voice their opinions on my sloppy eating to me, to my mom, or anyone around. Eating pizza with my family or people I feel comfortable with, it doesn't stop me from thinking about all the loaded comments and judgy looks I've gotten, all because people think I'm eating pizza. Big sister and little sister snuggling at the park. Big sister loves little sister so much. Big sister is very confused why little sister has lots of doctor's appointments, has so many medications, gets fed through tube and has zip line, has a hemangioma and has spent very long periods of time in the hospital. It's hard, a hard adjustment, but big sister still snuggles and loves on her daily. So these are just a few examples of the photos that we are collecting, the stories that we are collecting so that we can create not just a digital collection of photos and stories, but have something that we can physically give back to you that you and your child or you and your family can continue to grow together because we know that photos are a way of for us to make sense of our experiences and to share them with others in a way that our words don't often capture. And especially when you're in the room with a doctor to be able to show them these stories and these pictures, aside from any medical history that you might give them that you've maybe recited a thousand times. So today we'll discuss briefly how you can add your photos and stories to our collection. So first of all, what should you take pictures of? Really anything you want, that's the answer. You can take photos of what it's like to have or care for someone, care for someone with face syndrome. They can be of everyday life, relationships, places, events. It can be things that are the moments of calm and quiet, or it can be things that are particularly extraordinary or unique circumstances that you might want to highlight. So as you're walking around with that camera, think to yourself some of these questions. What is it like to live with face? What do I want to tell other people about living with face? What do I wish my doctors knew about living with face? What do I wish that doctors knew about caring for someone with face? How does face affect me in places like home, school, or work? What in my life is the most rewarding or challenging? What makes me happy, excited, joyful? What makes me feel sad, angry, or scared? And what are my hopes for the future? So how many photos should you take? As many as you like. We have an open upload submission on the website. And so anytime you feel so compelled to do so, you can go upload. You can upload one at a time, 
or collect a few over a few weeks or months and upload them all together. You could take pictures of other people who are not in your family. If we do just have a photo release form that you have to sign on the website saying that you got their permission to share their photo. When you submit the photo, it'll ask you if we have permission to share it in public displays or potentially use it at presentations. You can still select no and feel free to share that with us. We understand that sometimes this can be a very cathartic and rewarding experience, especially if you're maybe doing it with, with you and your child or with you and a parent. If your child is too young to take a photo, but they want to draw something that captures their experience, you can take a photo of that drawing and upload it. And then with the journal entry, like I mentioned, this is where you share why this photo was important. What made you stop for a second and say, this is a photo that I think captures our experiences. And then how do you submit the photos? There is a link on the Face Syndrome Community website. And like I said, you can go upload it at any time. It will take you to a short survey. Oh, that's the next slide. You'll see a page that looks like this, where you can click from your phone, from your computer, from your iPad, whatever it is that you're using. You can click to upload one photo, add a journal entry. Again, it will ask you if you give us your permission to share it, or if you prefer that we keep it anonymous or private. Um, and you can upload those as many times as you'd like. So I would like to pause and see if there's any questions from anyone who might be curious about participating. Um, also, if you have taken photos and submitted them, if you'd like to share what that was like, uh, we'll take a second here to pause and see if we have any questions. All right, well, like I mentioned, you can absolutely reach out to any of us on the Face Syndrome Community Board. You can ask questions on the website or just give it a try, upload some photos. And if you run into any issues on the technical part of it, just let us know. We also are hoping that folks who submit questions might be willing to do a short interview on the experience of taking pictures and potentially sharing some more in-depth information about the photos that you shared. So that will be another button that you'll see on the website is, are you willing for one of us to reach out to you and potentially ask you a few more follow-up questions? And again, it's all optional and voluntary and whatever you feel like giving is exactly what we want from you. So here's the page on the website under community. You'll see the Photo Voice Project tab. It will give you some details and there's a link to find out more. All the FAQs I went through are at the bottom of the page and you'll see a link to upload your photos there. So happy photographing. We look forward to seeing your pictures and please reach out if you have any questions.